Hello, my name is Nell, and I have things to say. Third video on the same day, which is why I'm holding my head up, because I am getting sleepy. Um, do you ever get really, really mad at somebody for existing? Not mad at who they are personally, but just like, why are you here in my life in this way? I don't want you here. It's like when people say they hate the dentist. It's like, you hate the dentist. You don't hate Tom who is a dentist. In any other walk of life, you'd be fine with Tom who happens to be a dentist. You don't hate the dentist. You hate the fact that you need to go to the dentist. I feel like that with my support workers. I kind of hate them for being here. I don't hate them as people. They're lovely people. I don't hire anybody other than lovely people because I've got a, like a vibe to maintain in my house and it's only lovely, only. <sighs> but I don't want them here. They're just doing their job. But their job depends on the fact that I cannot function as an independent adult. That's why they're here. That's why their job exists in my world. Like, I appreciate them, but I don't want them around. It's such a conflicting feeling because they come here, they're nice, they're, they're great. We just get on with it. But I have this seething feeling inside sometimes. They turn up, I hear the doorbell and they turn up and I'm cursing them because I'm like, yeah, okay. No more, no more time to myself for two hours now. I have to share my house with somebody else and I can't just have me time. Great. Yep. Great. Hey, how you doing? Great. You're here. Whatever. Then they help me shower. And I hate them. Because out of any time that should be me time, showers should be me time, but they're not. Showers have been me and them time for the past nine years. Only pre like recent years with workers, but before that was my mother. I haven't been able to shower myself since I was about 22. 22, 23, something like that. So I hate them most then because they're touching me and I don't want to be touched. But I don't have the option of saying don't touch me because if they don't touch me, I don't get showered. I hate them when they're dressing me because again, they're only here because I can't do it myself. I would give the world to do it myself. Them being here is a reminder that I cannot do it myself. So I hate that. When they're helping me cook, I want to cook by myself and I can't. So they're here, and I hate that. When I realize that they know how to unlock my house, how to feed my animals, how to get anything out of any cupboard in my house, how to put my clothes away in my drawers, I hate that. Because these people aren't my friends. These people aren't my family, and yet they know my house inside out. They are familiar with my house in a way that I would only want my friends and family to be. I hate that I don't have privacy because I can't have privacy with them. I have to announce everything because they have to know everything because then it has to be written down so that all the other workers know something. I hate that. I hate going out to lunch with them because I'd rather go out with friends, but because my free time is so strict, I end up going out with my workers because they're also taking me to doctor's appointments and we go out to lunch after a doctor's appointment and I'm sitting there across from them think wishing they were somebody else. I hate that. They exist in my world because I can't exist in my world on my own. And I hate that. I don't show them that I hate that. I don't show them that I'm mad. 
sometimes I tell them, you know, when I hire them, I'm like, just so you know, I won't always want you to be here. That's just the truth. But I feel it. I feel it, even when I'm putting on a smile. But I hate it. That's all for this one. I'm gonna go rest now. Bless.